Hello, Tumblr's Yahoo group. My name is Mark Marone. This is a Victoria Crown Pigeon, the world's largest pigeon. Not as beautiful as a well-bred Tumblr, though. And I'm very proud to say that I have exported many Tumblrs to people like you from people here in the United States. And they've all arrived safely, and people in the Gulf countries are breeding these birds. And it gives me great pleasure to know that I'm helping the two groups in the United States and the groups in the Middle East share the hobby for raising tumbler pigeons. And one day I hope to go to one of the shows in Kuwait and Bahrain so I can meet all of you in person. This is the gray parrot, the most popular talking bird, and very popular in the Middle East. The problem is that most people in the Middle East do not spray the birds with water every day. So the feathers on the birds that are kept in the Middle East do not look as good as the feathers on this gray parrot. This gray parrot is 30 years old. The most important thing when you have a parrot as a pet to keep its feathers in good condition is to spray him with water every single day. This bird over here is a very rare species of cat. This is the highest in the car. And this is the largest species of cat. They live only in Brazil. And I bought this bird myself when I was 16 years old in 1976 from a person living in Paraguay. I was in Paraguay, and I've had this bird for over 30 years. Most people don't stay married for over 30 years, but me and the bird are very happy together. Now over here, here we have some baby macaws. These macaws are only two months old. This is the red and green macaw. They're also called green wing macaws. And over here, we have the blue and yellow macaws. And when you breed the two birds together, you have these birds here, which are called the Catalina macaws. So bird A, cross with bird B, equals bird C. So by interbreeding two species, we create, we select a breeding, a new species. Which is how domestication starts and how we get all the different pigeons that we see and keep from the original wild pigeon, which is called the rock dove. And over here, after we have the baby bird, we have to keep them here and we hand raise them. Now one thing that's very interesting is that a baby pigeon and a baby parrot look very much the same. And in the scientific world, parrots and pigeons are very close to each other taxonomically. They both have skin around the beak, they both produce crop milk, and they both lay white eggs. So it's very interesting that people who keep parrots also like pigeons too. And I think that's because parrots and pigeons are very closely related and attached to the planet. These birds here are called eclectic parrots. The eclectic parrots are native in Southeast Asia. And what's unique about them is that they are one of the few parrots that are sexually dimorphic. The males are all green and the females are all red. Otherwise, parrots like pigeons, the males and females all look exactly the same. This is one exception here, which is the eclectic parrot, where the male is a totally different color from the female.
And these birds here are probably the most beautiful birds in the world. These are called major mixed properties. They're originally native to Australia, but people collectively breed them. And we now breed them here in the United States, and we export them to France here that are all over the world. But if you look at the first on them, they're definitely the most beautiful birds in the world, in my opinion. Anyone from the next time any pigeon breeders are in New York, come and visit me. I like to see everybody from all over the world. Since I am so busy here raising all these birds, I cannot get out as much as I'd like. So if I can't come to visit you, then you're more welcome to come visit me. We're only 20 minutes from Kennedy Airport. This interesting bird is a fruit pigeon. This is not a domesticated bird. This is a wild bird. And they're in the same family as the pigeons that we keep as pets. But you notice the fruit pigeons do not have the ring around the eye. Although they still share in common all the other traits that our domestic pigeons have. And as you see, there's more to pigeons and parrots and all the birds that we keep as pets than I can say here today. But I want to thank the people from the Yahoo Pigeon Group, all the management there, who have come to visit me here and help to make this video. The next time that any of you are in New York, come and visit me. My name is Mark Marone. We're only 20 minutes from Kennedy Airport. And if you've learned something from this video and you want to learn something in person, I'm more than happy to educate and entertain you. Thank you very much.